stay encouraged. Never stop living for God. Let's go to 2 Corinthians chapter 9, verses 6 through 7. To the left is the King James Version. To the right is the Expanded Bible. But this I say, he which soweth sparingly shall reap also sparingly, and he which soweth bountifully shall reap also bountifully. Verse 7, Every man according as he purposeth in his heart, so let him give, not grudgingly or of necessity, for God loveth a cheerful giver. Let's look up sparingly. In a restricted or infrequent manner, in small quantities. Let's look up bountiful. Given or provided abundantly. Let's look up abundantly. In large quantities, plentifully. So, but this I say, he which soweth, what? Sparingly, in small quantities, shall reap also sparingly. In small quantities, in small quantities. So, I believe this is saying the less you do of something, the less you are going to get back. So, yes, I believe it is saying that. And he which soweth bountifully, which is what? Let's go to abundantly in large quantities. So, and he which soweth bountifully in large quantities shall reap also bountifully in large quantities. So I believe that is saying the more you do of something, the more you are going to receive. Verse 7, Every man according as he purposeth in his heart, so let him give. I like what it says in the expanded Bible. Each of you should give as you have decided in your heart to give. So I believe this is saying it is our choice to give or not. Not grudgingly. What does grudgingly mean? Let's look it up in a reluctant or resentful manner. Reluctant is what? Unwilling and hesitant, disinclined. So if you are giving in a reluctant manner, how are you giving? I think you would be giving, how can I say this? So if you are giving in a reluctant way, I think that means an individual is giving, but in that person's heart, he or she don't want to give. I believe that is what it means to give reluctantly. Okay. Resentful. 
feeling or expressing bitterness or indignation at having been treated unfairly. So how are you giving if you are giving resentfully? I think if you are giving resentfully, I think you are giving, but you are not happy about it. Okay. Or of necessity. Let's look up necessity. <laughs> okay. The fact of being required or indispensable. So what does indispensable mean? Absolutely necessary. And if you read it in the expanded Bible, and you should not give because you feel forced to give out of compulsion. And compulsion is what? The action or state of forcing or being forced to do something. So, from this scripture, we are not supposed to give grudgingly or of necessity. Okay. For God loveth a cheerful giver. And what does cheerful mean? Noticeably happy and optimistic. Causing happiness by its nature or appearance. Okay. And in the expanded Bible, God loves the person who gives happily. So, to summarize verse 7, don't give unless you want to give. And when you give, do it in a cheerful way. I believe that is what verse 7 is saying in my own words. Say some kind words to others. God bless you.